how doth the little crocodile improve his shining tail and pour the waters of the Nile on every golden scale. How cheerfully he seems to grin, how neatly spreads his claws and welcomes little fishes in with gently smiling jaws. It's such a lovely day. What a shame to stay still. Let's go see what our Wonderland friends are doing. Wonderland, I don't see anyone yet. Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you, won't you join the dance? Oh, is that the Cheshire Cat? Meow. Hello, I'm the Cheshire Cat, and I live in the house of the Duchess. I so enjoyed talking to Alice throughout the story. As you know from the story, you must read the book with a grain of pepper because it's all nonsense. After chatting with me, Alice is going to a mad tea party. Meow. I was not invited, but I will observe invisibly and at a distance with my cup of tea. Pour yourself some if you wish. At the tea party, riddles are asked of Alice that have no sort of meaning. The Mad Hatter asks Alice, why is a raven like a writing desk? Think of that one for a while and I will share the answer at the end. Do you like riddles? Here's a different riddle for you to ponder. What letter is also a drink? Did you guess the letter T? Very good. Here's another riddle. It goes in dry and comes out wet. It gets stronger and stronger the longer it stays in. What is it? Did you guess a tea bag? Very good. In the story, the poor little dormouse is being used as a cushion while he sleeps and has tea poured on his little nose to wake him up. And later he tells a strange, silly little story about three sisters and treacle and things that begin with the letter M. Here's a mouse riddle. Where do mice park their boats? At the hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Here's another riddle. What has hands but no arms and a face but no eyes? Did you guess a clock or a watch? There's a lot of talk at the tea party about watches and time. So here's a riddle. What can a fly without wings? Did you guess time? Very good. What time is spelled the same forwards and backwards? Did you guess noon? Very good. Speaking of wings, 
the Mad Hatter shares a song that he sang at the great concert given by the Queen of Hearts. It goes like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder what you're at. Up above the world you fly, like a tea tray in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder what you're at. Alice eventually leaves a very curious tea party and must change her size again to enter the new beautiful garden. Here's a riddle about size. Only one color, but not one size. Stuck at the bottom, yet easily flies. Present in the sun, but not in the rain. Doing no harm and feeling no pain. What is it? Hmm. Hmm. Have you guessed? It's a shadow. By the way, did you ever figure out why is a writing desk like a raven? The Hatter's answer was, I haven't the slightest idea. To which Alice replies, I think you might do something better with time than wasting it asking riddles that have no answers. But that's the way things go. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad. And you must be, or you wouldn't have come here. Well, I'm off to watch the croquet game with the queen. That should be interesting. It was nice meeting you here in Wonderland. Goodbye. Welcome to the tea party. I am so glad to see that you've made it on time. But next time, try not to be so late. Mm. Mm. There's tea abounding in Bungalore. You're just in time for snacks. This bunny right here has brought snacks today. And I ask you, my friends, a question, a questionable question at that. The question is, how many snacks could a snack stacker snack? If a snack stacker snacked, stacked, snacks. Did you get that? Let's try it. How when many snacks could a snack stacker stack? If a snack stacker snack, stack, snack, stack, snack, 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 snacks, snacks. Mm -hmm. That's five. Oh. All right, stackers you can stack them right there. Stack them. Hey, no. How about you stack? How high could they get? Where did all these snacks come from? They're multiplying out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Can you see this, my friends? That is a stack of snacks. Bunny, would you count your stacked snacks? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nineteen. 
19 or at least 14. That is impressive indeed, don't you oh, think? 15, 15, 15. 15. I have another tongue twister for you. Somewhere there is a bug in this room. A bug, a bug, a bug. We ask you this question in a statement, of course. Can you read that, Bunny? The big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the big bug back. Excuse me? Would you like to do this one? Okay. Let's try. The big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the bug bug back. <laughs> so good, so good. Oh my God. Inside here, there is a veritable menagerie. Here, we have one little frog. We have it. Yeah, you just lay around. Two. Oh, Sorry. Things get mad. Things are perfectly mad. Okay. Let's here. Do we have another animal available? Right on top. Yeah, my alligator. A menagerie is a collection of animals. And so I ask you. Bite the pie. This. Can you imagine? Imagine an imaginary imagine a menagerie. Imagine an imaginary menagerie manager managing an imaginary menagerie. It is difficult. <laughs> it's rather a menagerie around here. It's true. So let's see. Imagine an imaginary menagerie manager managing an imaginary menagerie. Hmm. Snap, snap the bug. Now, I have another tongue twister for you. It is a partly mostly cloudy day today. And I am ready for the sun to shine soon. Are you ready? We, sh we, we surely shall see the sun shine soon. We surely shall see the sun shine soon. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh, my friends, this is absolutely fabulous. I don't know if I could have had a better tea party today, except if it were yesterday or potentially tomorrow or three hours ago, or two hours from now. I don't know myself, but I have had the best time. Thank you so much for joining us here today. I would like to thank you with another tongue twister. It goes a little like this. I thought a thought of thinking of thanking you. How was that? I thought I thought of thinking of thanking you. I know I'd forgotten something. I thought I thought of thinking of thanking you. So thank you, yes. And with that, we would like to say bye bye. Goodbye. <laughs> nice to see you. Hello. Hello. Bye bye. I was thinking of thanking you too, Hatter. Excellent to see you again. Well, that was a perfectly splendid afternoon. It was so good to see everyone again. I hope you had fun too.